the hope of a skinny kid with a funny name who believes that America has a place for him, too. And that was Vivek Ramaswamy during the recent Republican presidential candidates debate on Fox. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. That wasn't Vivek Ramaswamy at all. Let's try that opening again. Take two. And that was Barack Obama delivering the keynote address at the 2004 Democratic National Convention on C-SPAN. Many observers said Vivek Ramaswamy sounded a lot like Barack Obama when he said during the Fox debate, who the heck is the skinny guy with a funny last name? Everyone singled out future President Obama's 2004 keynote speech for the comparison. But there were other times Barack Obama said he was a skinny kid with a funny name. And so have other candidates. As you'll hear in this episode of C-SPAN's The Weekly, it's a podcast all about skinny kids with funny names who grew up to be politicians. First off, let's hear in his own voice, Vivek Ramaswamy calling himself a skinny kid with a funny name. From the August 23rd, 2023 debate, right? Nope. Try earlier than that. March 21st, 2023, at National Review's Ideas Summit. My dad came to this country in the late 1970s, not with a lot of money in his pocket, very little actually, to southwest Ohio where, you know, I, was, I grew up as a skinny kid with nerdy glasses and a funny last name. And Sounded similar to what you heard at the beginning, Barack Obama at the 2004 Democratic Convention. But not just then and not just there for Barack Obama. They said, no, you can't overcome the cynicism of politics. No, you can't overcome the special interests and the big money. No, you can't take on the big challenges of our time. No, you can't elect a skinny guy with a funny name to the presidency of the United States. That was October 10th, 2010, campaigning for Democratic candidates in Pennsylvania. And here's President Obama the following year, March 14th, 2011, at Kenmore Middle School in Arlington, Virginia. We are a place that believes every child, no matter where they come from, can grow up to be anything they want. For Catherine or Roberto or a skinny kid with a funny name named Barack Obama can grow up to be President of the United States. And here's Barack Obama on November 7, 2016, in New Hampshire, campaigning for Hillary Clinton. Because a, a, a lot of you won't remember this, but when I ran for the presidency in 08, the truth is, is that not a lot of people gave me a chance. You know, I, I was a skinny guy with a funny name. That same day, November 7th, 2016, President Obama also campaigned for Hillary Clinton in Philadelphia. In 2008, you gave me a chance. A skinny guy with a funny name. <laughs> Who else has used that line? Speaking of September 20th, 2011, at a Democratic fundraiser and introducing President Obama, here's First Lady Michelle Obama. But other than that, other than that, I have to tell you that so much is constant uh, about my husband from the time that I, I first met him back at our law firm in Chicago. We got some Sidley people here tonight, I know. Uh, you, you might have heard about our, our, our story, this, this, this skinny kid with a funny name who had the audacity to ask his former mentor out on a date. Uh, and, and, and then his idea of a date was taking me to a church basement. Uh, and here's Michelle Obama again, three months earlier, June 22nd, 2011, speaking in Soweto, South Africa. A lot of people there were out of work, barely getting by. Children had few opportunities and little hope for their future. And trust me, no one thought that this skinny kid with a funny name <laughs> could make much of a difference. Barack Obama's story was also told by Illinois Representative Jesse Jackson Jr. August 25, 2008, at the Democratic National Convention. The party establishment was skeptical of this young leader from the South Side. They didn't know what to make of a man like Barack, with a father from Kenya, a mother from Kansas, and a funny name. Later that year, on December 10, 2008, a month after Barack Obama won the presidency, Representative Jesse Jackson Jr. acknowledged that he wanted Barack Obama's seat in the U.S. Senate. And so somewhere along the way, over the last two and a half years, I got the idea 
that if a skinny kid with a funny name could be President of the United States, that a short kid with a somewhat controversial but certainly a high profile name could be a senator from Illinois. I entered this process with that expectation uh, and I hope that the people of the state of Illinois and the people of our country uh, will measure me based upon uh, the content of my character. Thank you very much for having me. Here's another politician with a self-described funny name, John Hickenlooper. Former Democratic Colorado Governor Hickenlooper ran for president in 2020. He didn't win the White House, but he did end up winning a Senate seat. On August 10, 2018, he talked about his name on C-SPAN. Where does the name come from, by the way? Well, we were always told, you know, it's the old Dutch for uh, hedge hump, uh, hedgehopper. Hecken lopen, like a hedge, hecken, and then a wolf lopes. And my dad, when we were little kids, told us it was, you know, the, like a mailman, jump over the hedge, kill the, or deliver the mail. Only when I was much, much older, uh, my uncle told me that, no, 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 no. If that was true, there'd be hick and loopers all over the place, just like Smith is a common name. Now, the hedgehoppers jumped over the king's hedge. They'd kill the king's deer. If they got caught, they'd be, they'd be hung by the king's rope. So it was really, uh, I, I told him then that, well, that means the hick and loopers that survived probably could run faster and jump over hedges, jump higher uh, than the other, uh, than the, the hick and loopers who didn't make it. In March 2019, John Hickenlooper officially announced his candidacy for the presidency. Now I understand, I understand clearly that I'm not the first person in the race. <laughs> or the most well-known person in the race. But let me tell you, at four syllables and 12 letters, Hickenlooper is now the biggest name in the race. <laughs> Let me tell you something else. Growing up as a skinny kid with a Coke bottle glasses and a funny last name, I've dealt with my fair share of bullies. Also from the last presidential campaign, Democratic candidate Pete Buttigieg. Here he is campaigning in Waterloo, Iowa, February 1st, 2020. And I've been reflecting on those first visits, turning up here in Iowa, showing up in diners, trying to introduce myself, people puzzled about how to say my name. <laughs> and then you all solved it for me. It's just first name Mayor, last name Pete, and that seems to get the job done. <laughs> it's okay, because caucuses are multiple choice. There's no pronunciation or spelling test. You just gotta stand in the right corner is all. Buttigieg ended up winning the 2020 Iowa caucuses. He picked up the most pledged delegates. When he campaigned in Ottumwa, Iowa, on January 28, 2020, he invoked a previous Iowa winner who had a self-identified funny name, Barack Obama. Iowa has a remarkable track record when it comes to expanding Americans' imagination about what's possible in our politics. Uh, you know, first time I was in this area was 12 years ago as a campaign volunteer knocking on doors for a senator with a funny name. And I was here in Iowa when you all changed what Americans thought was possible by delivering that, that historic victory. Finally, a joke U.S. Senator Barack Obama told on September 20th, 2005. It was a roast for then-Democratic Congressman from Illinois, Rahm Emanuel. But this time, a twist. Not a funny name, a weird name. The truth is I admire uh, Rahm Emanuel greatly. He is a wonderful politician. His skills and instincts are extraordinary. I mean, think about it. Can you imagine uh, somebody with a weird name like Rahm Emanuel getting elected to Congress from Illinois? It's, uh, it's astonishing. Uh. And speaking of funny lines by Barack Obama about funny names, time now for our bonus clip. In two months, Thanksgiving. Need a strong opening joke to tell your Thanksgiving dinner guests? Here's an idea. Use this chestnut, a joke President Obama told 10 years ago in November 2013 when he pardoned a turkey. The competition was stiff, but we can officially declare that popcorn is the winner. Proving, there you go, proving that even a turkey with a funny name can find a place in politics. <laughs> That's it for this episode of The Weekly. No funny names here, just straightforward. 
It's called the C-SPAN Video Library, and it's not skinny at all. It's bursting with lots and lots of video. Use it to find more politicians who may have funny names and or may have been, when they were young, skinny. Thanks for listening, and happy searching.